Welcome to our latest episode, The Billionaire Tax Today, Everyone Tomorrow. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the implications and dangers of the proposed Billionaire Tax Act, which has now been proposed more than once, and why you can't escape it by expatriating or transferring your assets to a trust. I'm also going to talk about some effective strategies for potentially avoiding the Billionaire Tax Act should it become law, and that why, if it's passed, the Billionaire Tax Act will eventually apply to a much wider range of taxpayers that aren't billionaires. Welcome to the Wealth Uncensored podcast, straight talk about everything that impacts your wealth. In each episode, I share what I've learned through my own experience and two decades of helping high net worth clients structure their affairs to minimize taxes and protect their assets for the next generation. I'll also feature special guests who are experts in their own field, sharing their knowledge and experience to help you protect what's yours. I'm your host, Jimmy Sexton. Let's dive into today's show. Most of you have probably heard the U.S. wants to implement a wealth tax on billionaires to help raise desperately needed tax revenue to pay for the U.S.'s frivolous spending. The tax would apply to anyone with a net worth of over a billion dollars or income over a hundred billion dollars for the three years prior to the applicable tax year. So if you wanted to find out if it applies to you in 2023, you need to look at if you were worth a billion dollars or had income of a hundred million or more in each of the preceding three years. So 22, 21, and 20. So the tax is essentially a mark-to-market tax on your unrealized gains. Here's how it works. Liquid assets, what the act refers to as tradable covered assets, like publicly traded securities, would be mark-to-market each year. Any appreciation would be taxed as a long-term capital gain. There would be basis adjustments allowed in the event of losses. Now, illiquid assets, which are referred to as non-tradable covered assets, like interest in private companies, wouldn't actually be taxed until they were disposed of through a sale, a gift, a bequest, or a transfer to a non-grantor trust. Now, in addition to the tax due, there's a deferral recapture amount that would also be due. Now, the deferral recapture amount is essentially an interest charge that is calculated based on the holding period of the asset, like you should have paid tax on the appreciation in prior years. Now, based on my reading of the proposed Billionaire Tax Act, this tax on the mark-to-market gain, as well as the interest charge, would be in addition to any gift or estate tax. So you have double tax. You gotta love the ingenuity of the US government. I mean, when it comes to greed, they're second to none. So lately I've read a lot of stuff by other advisors that have been trumpeting expatriation as a way of avoiding the billionaire tax act. This won't work if it's passed. Those advocating this strategy obviously haven't read the whole text of the billionaire tax act. I have, and I'm gonna tell you what's in it. When you expatriate as a covered expatriate, which a billionaire clearly would be, you're taxed on your unrealized gains in much the same way as the billionaire tax act would tax you but without the interest charge. So the reasoning of these advisors is that it's best to expatriate and pay your tax on your unrealized gains once under the expatriation tax regime rather than an ongoing basis every year under the billionaire tax act regime. I would agree with this strategy, but the drafters thought of this. So pursuant to the billionaire tax act, if an applicable taxpayer were to expatriate, their assets would be marked to market at the time of their expatriation, as happens with other covered expatriates, and their assets would be marked to market again after 10 years. So you have to pay tax on your unrealized gains at the time of expatriation, and then again 10 years later. And in addition to that, if the applicable taxpayer spends more than 30 days in the US in any of the 10 years following their expatriation, they're going to be taxed as a U.S. citizen for that year, which means taxation on worldwide income, FBAR filing, international information, return filing, and all the other fund compliance requirements. So in short, expatriation won't work unless you expatriate prior to the Billionaire Tax Act becoming law. And that's, of course, assuming they don't make it retroactive. Now, the same goes for making gifts, bequests, or transferring assets to a non-grantor trust. In order to escape the gain recognition under the Billionaire Tax Act, you need to make the gift or bequest or and transfer the assets to a non-grantor trust prior to the Billionaire Tax Act becoming law. Again, 
That's assuming they don't make it retroactive. And while the Billionaire Tax Act would only apply to a very small percentage of taxpayers now and wouldn't apply to assets in a trust, that will soon change if it becomes law. This is the government's MO, right? They pass a tax law that has a very narrow applicability and then expand it. So while the Billionaire Tax Act would only apply to this tiny percentage of the population today, those with a net worth of over a billion or income over 100 million, you can be sure that the government will slowly lower those thresholds until the tax applies to almost everybody. For anyone who knows the history of the income tax, that's how it started. It first applied only to the rich, and now it applies to basically everyone. Just to recap, the Billionaire Tax Act would impose a tax on unrealized gains of taxpayers who have a net worth of over a billion dollars or annual income over a hundred million dollars. And you can't escape it by gifting, bequeathing, expatriating, or transferring assets to a non-grantor trust unless you do so before it becomes law. And again, that assumes they don't make it retroactive. To learn more about trusts and foundations, check out my trust and foundations guide. I'll put a download link in the description. I hope you found this episode useful. Thank you for joining me on Wealth Uncensored, where we help you minimize taxes and protect your wealth for the next generation. If you like our show, be sure to subscribe and leave a review. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, we'd love to hear from you. You can email us at info at esquiregroup.com. And don't forget to visit Esquire Group's website for more information on how we can help you secure your wealth. I'll be dropping knowledge again next week. Don't forget to join us.